guys. Okay, so we're gonna move on to task number four. So far we've gone over posting, interacting, growing your network, and today we're gonna talk about personal development. Now I wanna remind you guys, we're gonna go over every single task because every single task is important. You can't skimp on one and wanna see the same results. In order to run a successful business, these are the key components that we wanna be doing every single day consistently. So today, I wanted to talk about personal development. Typically, I start with this. This is one I think is the most crucial, important part of this entire thing. I mean, you'll hear some um, people say, some of the uh, corporate staff, so you'll see top leaders say all the time, that this company is just a personal development plan attached to a comp plan, okay? It's so, so, so important. And this was the hardest task for me to get behind when I started my business four and a half years ago. I was very, very red and money focused. I wanted to do things that I could see instantly the benefit in my business grow from. In personal development, you don't see that. I'm not going to read a book and then that get me an enrollment or anything of the sort. And so for me, I put this off for years in my business. And my business and my leadership especially suffered because of it. When you can get a good grasp on the value of personal development and do it consistently every day, you guys are going to unlock like a whole new life because this is so much bigger than just business. This is literally a key component that will change your business and also completely revolutionize your thought process and your life like in turn. Um, so what is personal development, okay? Uh, personal development is when you're g developing who you are, what you believe, what you've grown up being told, and developing it into your dream ideal self. That's the whole goal here, is if you were to think of the very best version of yourself, the way she felt, the way she looked at the world, the way she talked to people, the confidence she carried, the way she carried herself, the, all of those things, that's what we're trying to achieve and grow into. And so there are tons of ways we can start doing this. I had an idea, so I have to write that down or I will not remember to go over it. Um, so why are we doing personal development every day and why does that impact your business at all? Because 99% of you guys and me and everyone else, we are stuck with an employee mindset because that's what we know. That's what we grew up with. When you go to school, you're being told when to get up, when to show up, when to go to class, when to go to the next class, when to eat lunch, when to go to the bathroom, when to go to the next class, when to go home, when to get to sports practice. Like you have someone telling you what to do, where to be, and when to be there. And then you graduate, you go to college, boom, same thing. You have class schedules. You have to be specific places at specific, specific, specific times. And then you graduate and then you get a job. And then you have a schedule where you have to clock in at a specific time. You can take your break at a specific time. You are stuck in this employee mindset where you have someone else who is in charge of you, telling you what to do, when to do it, when to show up, and holding you accountable. Right? If you don't show up to school, you get a, an absence. If you don't show up to your job, you get a, a, a derogatory mark. You get things like that. You have someone holding you accountable. But then... You join a business. You start your own business and all of a sudden you don't have anyone holding you accountable and you don't have a schedule. You don't have to work your business from one to three every day. You get to set your own hours, which is the freedom in this. That's what we want. You don't have to report to someone, which is the freedom in this. It's what we want. You don't have someone looking over your shoulder, grading your work, holding you accountable. It's that freedom that we're looking for. But if you don't train yourself in how to handle it, if you don't grow into a CEO mindset, if you don't grow into a self-aware mindset, someone to hold yourself personally accountable and do the steps to grow to that, you're never going to see the success in business that you want. 
because you will get stuck waiting for someone to hold you accountable, for someone to motivate you, to have an accountability partner, to have someone check in and hold your hand to do things. But to have a successful business, you can't have those things. You're never going to have someone who's going to show up, push you, and motivate you, hold your hand, and encourage you every step of the way in your business. You've got to become the person who can do that for yourself. And your paycheck can never outgrow your money mindset. You literally are hardwired to tap out at a certain income level. You've heard it all growing up, and it's all of the things that you've heard growing up have defined your money blueprint, your money map. And so things like, you know, money doesn't grow on trees or we can't afford that or things like that as you hear that growing up, it starts to determine the way you look at money, your relationship with money. And it creates this jail of you put money in in your brain where it gives it a ceiling. And you will never earn income higher than your money mindset allows. So if you're not doing the personal development to change that, to change your employee mindset, to change your money mindset, to change your self like the way you look at yourself. A negative person will not have a successful business. If you hate yourself, you're not gonna have a successful business. If you're constantly having this negative Nancy voice in your head going over of how you can't do it, how you're not enough, how you aren't gonna measure up, how you're gonna fail, how you're not good enough, how people don't like you, how X, Y, Z, you're not gonna have a successful business. And so in order to not just have a successful business, guys, if you wanna have the, like, be part of the 1%, you've got to change those things. You're, you've got to have a CEO mindset. You've got to crash through that money mindset ceiling. You've got to learn, hardest one, you guys, you've got to learn to love yourself. You've got to learn how to take that negative self-talk and turn it into positive, reinforcing, motivating, self-love talk. That's what personal development does. That's the whole point of it. So if you are working your business, but not taking care of your mind, you are not going to hit that goal that you want. You're going to fall short. You're not going to see the freedom. And if you do, it won't be lifelong. It'll be a short blip of like, oh, oops, I did something. Let me get back on my level. Personal development raises that level. It allows you to get more, see more, experience more, grow more, and change your stars, your legacy. And you've got to first take care of your mind. That's why it is so dang important, important you guys. So what can you do to grow your mindset in all of these areas? Okay, I'm going to give you a quick list, and we're going to talk a little bit about all these things, okay? But journaling, affirmations, gratitudes, devotions, uh, reading your Bible, reading or listening to audiobooks that are on self-growth, business growth, money mindset, podcasts, listening to those, and doing courses. There's also like leadership courses, personal growth courses, uh, marketing courses, things like that you can do. So let's start with journaling. Okay, journaling is such an amazing tool. And what I love about all these things is there's no right or wrong answer because this is you and your growth. I can't tell you to go out and do one of these things and you're going to be successful because I don't know exactly what it is that you need today. And what you do in this season may not work next season. You may have to pivot and change and try new things and because you're constantly growing and evolving. And that's what this whole thing's about. So journaling. There's so many ways to do this, okay? I'm going to break it down. You can literally just stream of consciousness, write it down. Sit down and write into existence what you want. I was talking with um, one of the ambassador diamonds in our company. She's been in the company for, I think like 14, 15 years. Um, and she literally writes down what she wants to happen every single day. So like if she is working on Christmas cash, for example, Every morning she gets out a pen and paper and she writes down that she has earned Christmas cash. She just got the notification that the deposit went into her bank account. She's so thankful for her team showing up and helping her earn this. She's so thankful for God bringing the right customers and distributors into her path. She's so thankful that um, she, hold on two seconds. Uh, I hear my daughter woke up. You can just give her a bottle. 
when you go get her. And I'll, when I finish up with this, I'll take her. Um, and she literally just writes down and speaks into existence every single day her dream life, how she's spending the money, what she's doing with it, like as if it's happening. You also can look up, go on Pinterest, you guys. If you guys don't use Pinterest for things like this, you need to, okay? Pinterest for your business, okay? There's all kinds of stuff. But go on Pinterest and look up journaling prompts. You literally can get like prompt sheets where it's like, okay, here's a, here's a prompt, write about it. Here's another prompt, write about it. And you can look specifics. If you're having a really like down on yourself day, look up journaling prompts for self doubt. If you are feeling anxious, look up journaling prom prompts for anxiety. Like there's so many like targeted things and literally it just gives you a prompt and then you write about it. Love that, okay? Um, you can also write down prayers. I was talking to one of our, the girls on our team and she's talking about how she does this and I, I just love it. But just write down a stream of conscious prayer. What you're asking God to bring into your life, where you're asking him to move, what you're giving him, where, you, where you're asking him to breathe life, just write it all out. There's so much power when you put pen to paper, you guys. The next thing is affirmations. I cannot... I cannot speak enough about affirmations, okay? I think this is life-changing. So there's two, two levels of this. Um, I'm going to take it one step further and talk about a mantra as well as affirmation because it kind of ties into that. So affirmations first. Guys, we have the power to wake up every single day and decide who we are going to be. You don't have to show up with the anxiety of last night. You don't have to show up with the negative feelings you went to bed with. You don't have to show up with the self negative self-talk, with the doubt, with the struggles, with the, the insecurities, with all the things you went to bed with last night. You get to show up every morning and define who you're going to be. That's what affirmations are. Literally, grab a pen and paper and start affirming who you are, what you're going to be today, and use it in your business. You can take it a step further. Hi, booby. You have a good nap? Um, so, for example, if you're struggling personally, maybe you're going to write up and you're going to talk about it. You wake up and you say, I am a strong mother. I am a patient mom. I am loving myself today. I'm so thankful for what God's doing in my life. I'm so glad that I've become consistent. Like you speak these positivities and then do it for your business too. If you see areas of lack in your business, affirm it. And do this more than once. You don't have to just do it first thing in the morning. So your host of posts, you're getting them up, they're not getting comments. Start affirming that. Every host of post I get up blows up. My host of post gets so many comments. Everyone who comments on host of post adds me as a friend. Everyone I'm talking to from host to post want to sign up or want to join. Like start affirming these areas and then do it again and again and again. Repetition is so important in these avenues because you are training your brain to start thinking this way. You're training your brain to see these positives instead of the negative. Instead of seeing the host to post that didn't get the comments, I mean like dang, another host to post with no comments. When you're doing this kind of stuff, these affirmations and things every single day, you start thinking differently. You're literally training your brain to see a negative and flip it into a positive before it even registers. Think about the power in that. The other half of that is a mantra. A mantra is something when you take an affirmation or multiple and make it super specified to you and then make it something you live by. Okay? This is something that I did... Um, Almost two years ago, I put together a mantra for myself. And I pivoted and changed it a little bit over the time. But this is something that I can say every single day that is going to affirm the key aspects I struggle with. So this is my mantra to share with you guys. I love me. I am absolutely and eternally wonderful and worthy of all good things. I feel good. I feel God. I'm taking control I can be happy anywhere, in any circumstance. God, if I'm in you and you're in me, then I'm not alone. My greatest weaknesses are all affirmed in that statement. Not liking myself. Feeling unworthy. Feeling that I deserve chaos. That I deserve things to fail around me. 
feeling empty, feeling sad, not feeling connected with God, feeling out of control, that life is just happening around me and there's nothing I can do about it. Being sad and just longing to be happy. Letting my circumstances affect my mood and control how I view the world around me. And again, feeling alone. I think I already said that one. So saying this every day, I took these key aspects of myself, these places where I struggle the most, where I fall back into the same negative self-talk, these same doubts, these same insecurities, these same struggles. And every day I can just wake up and I can affirm them first thing in the morning. I just read it off a of paper because I know when I'm trying to talk to you guys, I can lose track of my thoughts. But I've done this so often and this is memorized. The second I start slipping into that negative self-talk, this is what I go to. I just, in my brain, I say this whole mantra all over again. I love me. I'm absolutely eternally wonderful. I'm worthy of all good things. I feel good. I feel God. I'm taking control back. Happiness is mine. I can be happy anywhere in any circumstance. God, if I'm in you and you're in me, then I am not. And then when I feel insecure, I'm going to tell myself that again. And then when I feel insecure, I'm going to tell myself that again. And this is such a powerful tool to help train your brain to see the positivity, to help reinforce that you are created for more, that you are created for success, that you are destined for a life bigger than who, where you're at and what you know, and that those things that you are carrying, those burdens and those baggages, baggage, baggages you don't have to. You can move past that and you can grow past that. And I think it's so powerful to write out a statement that you can just keep close to you. Something that you can pull out when you start struggling, when you go back into those cycles and just reaffirm who you are. The next thing you can do is gratitude. One of the most life altering things I've probably ever heard. I heard someone say, um, if when you woke up tomorrow, all you had was what you thanked God for today. Would you be happy or would you be sad? Dang. Dang. How many days would we wake up with nothing? Because we are so caught up in the rat race, so caught up in hustling, so caught up in the negativity and the lack that we see around us, that we're not taking the time to thank God for the things that he is doing, that the things that he has done in our life. Imagine if we could train ourselves to be grateful in every moment. The more you focus on gratitude, the more gratitude multiplies. And the more it multiplies, the more positive your brain gets. You look everywhere and you start seeing the positive. You start seeing God's hand in everything because you are training yourself to find those moments, to find the positives, to find the places and the key spots where God is hiding and his hand is touching your life, the things that you can be grateful for in the deepest darkness and the chaos because he's still always there. There's always a silver lining. And when you start doing every day and making a point to focus on that, to pick out the gratitudes, man, and that is revolutionary in your life. That's rewriting that story. That's telling your brain what we're going to believe differently. Imagine how your business would change if instead of waking up and seeing another host to post with no comments, you're thanking God that that person put the post up. Instead of seeing a host to post with one comment and being like, dang, there's only one person. Thanking God that he brought you that one person. How different would your outlook on your business be? That if every negative, every not enough, every shortfall of your goal, you're thanking God that you got that far, that that many people came into your circle, that another person accepted your friend request, that you're on the way to changing another life. Imagine if you were grateful for every moment of it. How would your business and how would your life change? Guys, this is why... Personal development is so dang important. I'm getting fired up about it, okay? We're only three things in. <laughs> um, the next one is de devotionals and reading your Bible. I'm going to share. Look at this. Look at this hot mess, okay? This is my Devo. Um, my dog ate it. <laughs> but it's so good. We're here anyway. Um, so this is um, High God. I don't remember which one. She has two different High God ones. I see I was going to read the, the spine of my other 
High God Depot to see which it is, but it also was eaten by the dog. So I don't know, but I have both of them. They're amazing. Um, I don't know the author either. I don't have the information, but you can go on Amazon and look up High God uh, Devo and it will pull it right up. But so I will read you guys one of these. I love, love, love this devotional. I think it is so dang powerful. Um, I just, it's amazing. So let's look at this. What's good about me? Hi God. When I look at this huge world, I find myself wondering if my small life makes any difference at all. I don't feel significant in the grand scheme of things. I don't know what, that I really stand out in any specific area. I'm alive and moving, but not good at anything in particular. So, is there more for me? I'm sure the enemy would love for me to get stuck here, discouraged and doubting myself. But I won't let that happen. I have to put my mind, my thoughts, and my focus on you. You actually knew me before I was even born. You thought about me. You took time creating me in exact and well thought out ways. You intentionally gave me certain personality traits. You formed me to thrive and feel more alive doing specific things. You made me naturally good at certain things. I might not even notice because they come so easily to me. These traits aren't trivial, they're purposeful. You created me to flourish using the gifts and talents you put in me. Traits I might not even value yet. <clears throat> the abilities you gave me, they are irrevocable irrevocable no one can take them away irrevocable that's the word no one can take them away the only one who can hinder them is me by not turning the in, by not tuning into them and using them I might have done that before but not anymore today I take the time to think about those things I naturally do well and God I'm gonna figure out how to use those things for you God open doors of opportunity and reveal to me my deeper purpose I vow that I will listen to and lean into you. I will tune into your voice and I will live and fulfill the intended purpose you designed for me. Your future for me is great. Thank you for making me special. I did not look ahead. I just opened this up to my next page. But did that not just go along with the last three points we just talked about? I love that. I love that Devo, okay? So many of these ones have just ugh, hit me in the soul. But... Again, that's shifting your focus. That's pouring into you. That's taking that time to rebuild your relationship with God. To, and I'm telling you, you invite him into this. He cares about every aspect of your life. Why do we think God doesn't care about our business? Why does he, we think that we don't, he doesn't care about our customers or our host to post or our conversations? He wants to be part of all of it. Taking that time to read your Bible, do your devotional, pray is inviting God into your life, into your growth, into your business, because he genuinely cares about you. He cares about your business. He cares about your growth. He cares about your family. He cares about all of it. So bring it freaking to him and bring him into it. The next thing is to read and listen to audiobooks. okay? I'm going to simplify this for you guys. I'm going to put some resources in the comments on this one. Um, I've got some ebooks that you can go read, audiobooks you can listen to, all free resources, okay? Because I know that's a lot of times I hear. I don't have the money to go buy a book. I don't have the money for Audible. Cool. No excuse now. I'm about to share some resources, okay? But go get some books. If you are, if you have not read this one, this needs to be your first book, go get, I'm not pointing to anything. I feel like it looked like I was. I'm not, sorry. Just happened to line up weird. Um, go get, uh, money mindset the money mindset I think it's called I'm trying to look it up so I can give you okay well that's not the name of the book why can't I my brain left as soon as I started talking and I don't know what the name of the book is something about money mindset I will put it in the comments I will Probably as soon as I end this live, it'll come back to me. But it's a book on money mindset that you have to read if you've never read it. I'm going to put the name specifically in the comments, so come back and look at that because it will be there. But read books, okay? The average American reads like one book a year. The average millionaire reads like 30 plus books a year or something. It's something crazy. Read some dang books. In addition, I will share those resources. I will put the freaking book on there that I can't think of. 
I will also share a look a list of all of the books I personally have read when it comes to um, since I started this business. I just thought about that. I have that list and it has um, Secrets of the Millionaire Mind. There we go. That's the book. If you've not read that book, that's your homework. Go get it. Find it. Do whatever it takes because that book is life changing. Secrets of the Millionaire Mind by T. Harv Eckerd. Incredible. Um, but I will share a list of all the books I personally have read. Um, what I love about reading books and audiobooks, both I think both are important and both have their, their realm. Um, I like to read a book, have it in my hand. I feel like I digest the information better. But audiobooks are a lot easier. And so I like to be doing both, sometimes many. At this exact moment, I am reading like three books, like tangible books. Um, and then I will listen to an audiobook too. Because audiobooks are good to do, like I can put on an audiobook while I'm getting dressed, while I'm in the shower, while I'm driving, while I'm cleaning, things like that, and listen to it in the background. Where I'm still absorbing it, I'm getting information, but I'm not like locked in, loaded, and focused. But then I also can read a book um, to get more of that tangible focus. And for me, I like to have mo multiple books going at the same time because every single day I'm going to show up as a different version of myself and a different part of me is going to need more love. So I may have a book on faith. I may have a book on business. I may have a book on leadership all going at the same time. And today, where am I lacking? Do I need some help in my faith? Okay, that's the book I'm going with. Do I need to focus on leadership today? Then I'm going to grab that book and read a chapter and just kind of tailor what I need. That's what I like about books, guys. There's literally books out there for every thing. Um, uh, next thing, podcast. Ooh, podcast. Again, it's that's something, one, free. Podcasts are free. You can find so, so, so many, okay? No excuses on finances here. Podcasts are free. Um, and it's something that you can put on in the background while you're getting ready, while you're cooking, while you're doing things like that, while you're cleaning, while you're, you're doing laundry. You can listen to these podcasts. Um, the number one podcast I recommend for business is um, Your Virtual Upline by Bob something another. I can't pronounce his last name, and then now I can't even think of it. But if you look up Your Virtual Upline, it will pull up the podcast. Incredible. By far my favorite podcast for business. He literally coaches through network marketing. And so it's not company specific but it's industry specific so any of his topics will directly apply to your business there's so many times i've listened to his podcast and gotten things that have completely revolutionized my business and the way i do things and the way i show up and the way i lead and the way i prospect and the way i do all of it um i can't recommend his podcast enough another one is boss babe um i can't think of the girls there's two girls who do that one i can't think of their names at the moment I want to say like Heidi is one of them or something. I don't know. But again, amazing post, uh, a podcast. Um, Grant Cardone has a good one. He's one of my favorite business authors. Um, you want to find people who speak to your soul. He's a very red personality, very money driven, very, very like no Fs to give. I'm going to tell it to you straight. And anytime I read his books, it just like lights a fire in my soul. And I just feel so passionate and like want to get to work and do things. He has an amazing podcast. Um, Craig Groeschel has a really good leadership podcast if you're wanting to grow your leadership. Um, Ma John Maxwell has amazing leadership podcast. Steve Harvey has amazing um, leadership podcast, a motivational podcast. You can also find faith-based podcasts and things like that. Things to just listen to to grow yourself. The people that you look to up to in this business. The people that you look up to who speak eloquently, who have so much wisdom when they speak, guys, they did not wake up and just have a bucket of wisdom. They didn't just wake up with the skills and the, and the words and the knowing what to say and the power and the, the, the tips and the things. They got that from somewhere. They grew their mind that then now is inspiring you. You can do the same damn thing. I can't tell you enough that four and a half years ago, I never would have ever imagined that I would be in this seat talking to you guys, being able to convey value, being able to inspire, being able to share passion, being able to implement and impact lives. 
I was a nobody. I had brain injuries that like sometimes makes it where I can't talk. I was nervous in front of the camera. I'm relatively shy. I don't know what to say. I just stumble on my words. I didn't read books at all. I didn't have the best vocabulary. I was so in unqualified to be right here in this seat talking to you guys. But four years, two years, two years of uh, personal growth and development, working on that muscle, working on expanding my brain, expanding my money blueprint, expanding my self-love, and my getting rid of my insecurities, working past them, reinforcing the positive train of thought. Those things have allowed me to become this person. And by no means am I done, and neither are you. You have such a long road on this personal development growth journey. It's a lifelong endeavor. And how cool is that, that this is just such a small thing that you can do every single day that's going to every single day get you one step closer to you being the absolute best version of yourself. And the last thing of my like what's to do is courses. There are amazing courses out there to help you with leadership, to help you with marketing, to help you with self-love and working through trauma, things like that. Um, I personally am doing one right now for leadership um, through the Your Virtual Upline, um, that guy, Bob, what's his name? Uh, he's got an amazing leadership course called uh, Love, Serve, Grow. That's currently, I'm doing that right now. It's a year-long course. But that's another avenue you can look at and seek out different courses that you can do to help you continue to grow. You will never have the business of your dreams, the life of your dreams, or the, any of that if you're not willing to do the groundwork to grow your mindset to achieve that. That's why this is so dang important. That's why I get so fired up talking about personal development, guys, because you cannot get there without it. I promise you. Me and you can sit here and we can do the exact same tasks. We can send out the exact same messages verbatim. We can do everything exactly the same, but my business will succeed where yours won't because I'm doing the personal development if you're not. It is a crucial component. You cannot skip this and still expect to have the success. It goes in line. You have to have this aspect too, if not more so than some of the other things. You have to grow your belief. You have to grow your mind. You have to do the groundwork to become the best version of yourself because your business will then follow suit and support that. But you can't have a thriving business with a crappy mindset. You can't have success with a negative Nelly mindset. You can't make a large income with a blocked off money road back. You have to do the work to change those things. You want to have a team? You want to have success? Well, you can't just show up and expect to be a leader. You have to develop leadership. You have to learn how to lead. And all of that, guys, can be done by this list. Journaling, affirmations, gratitude, devotionals, reading pray or bi reading your Bible, praying, reading and listening to audiobooks, podcasts, courses. Those are the key components in getting you from where you are today to where you want to be in your dream life, loving yourself, living in happiness and ease and bliss and having the financial security, having the excitement, the life, the happiness, all of those things. The thing that you have to have to get you there is personal development. You have got to grow into that person. You will never walk into that. You will never just show up being the best version of yourself. It's something that you have to cultivate and grow every single day. Just like the rest of these tasks. It's not enough to do it today and then check back next week. You've got to be doing this every single day. So I will hop back on tomorrow and we will jump into another one of our daily tasks. We've got three more left, okay? So I'm so excited. Um, I will drop a bunch of resources in the comments of this video um, once it's uploaded. And um, I'm excited. Love you guys. And tune back in tomorrow.